Hello there and welcome back to my channel. Can you guys believe we are almost at the end of the year? Like two more months ago? Oh, three, technically. Three more months ago, that's just insane. I mean, I thought this year was never gonna end, but this has been a pretty fast year for me. I decided let's do a favorites video because I used to love doing favorites videos and I love watching them, so I figured it's time to show y'all one too. So today I am discussing my five favorites for this month. These are things that I have been using for a while now and I really got the hang of it and I love it and I just need to share it. It really is all beauty related, beauty and health related, so I'm gonna help y'all look prettier, which you guys don't really need, but you look even prettier than you already are for the end of this year. I guess we can start with something that I take every day. Since the summer this year, I've started, so it hasn't been too long, it's been like two months now, I have been taking the Hair, Skin, and Nails gummies by Nature's Bounty. Now, I love, first of all, that it's just one thing and that's for three months, I think or maybe even a little longer. It has 250 milligrams per serving of biotin. It has vitamin C and vitamin E. I started taking this because of my hair. I really felt like my hair was starting to lose its color, its form. I have to say now that I got it a little darker, I feel like it looks a little bit more healthy, but it really didn't look good anymore. And my nails are horrible. That's why I have acrylics and my skin isn't super flawless. I must say it has been a lot better since I've been taking collagen, but I figured, you know, let's pump up the gas and get something else with it. So you take two gummies a day. They taste like strawberry. I have to tell you, it tastes like candy. Like I look forward to take this. Like I'm sad I already had it today because I want to have another one. So it's 15 calories for two, which is fine. I mean, it's almost nothing. It doesn't really count, but in case you want to know, I have to say I've noticed already a big difference in my skin, I feel like mainly. I've gotten a lot of compliments for that, which I was kind of scared because biotin can make your acne worse if you're prone to that, which I thought I would, but until now, it's been okay. I haven't noticed much in my hair yet. I mean, it feels a lot smoother. However, I'm scared to say it's because of that or because of the color. So I don't know about that just yet. I do recommend it for skin for sure and for just for the flavor. I mean, also because it has vitamin E and vitamin C. If you live in countries where, you know, like in the Netherlands where it's cold all the time usually, some vitamin C is always a good thing. So I definitely recommend this if you are thinking of starting to take some vitamins and you suck in taking vitamins because these taste so good that you're not gonna forget, believe me. You won't forget, you'll you'll probably try to take more of them. Um, if you guys follow me on Instagram, which if you don't, go do that now. This is my Instagram. You might have noticed that I post on the crazy early hours of the morning, which for me is crazy early. I know there are people that wake up a lot earlier, but for me, seven o'clock is pretty early. I'm outside going for either for long walks or runs. Well, not really run. I, I pretty much just try to fast pace walk because I can't really run. And honestly, my mom goes with me every day, and so we go together, which is great because, you know, we can drag each other out of bed. So because of that, I really got interested in knowing like how much I've been walking and the calories I burned, etc. So my mom actually got this for me for my birthday, and I've been wearing it ever since, except for like when I want to look cute. But it is a smartwatch. It is from the brand Who Have I, so it's not the Fitbit brand. It looks just like the Fitbit one, though. And I really love this. It is connected to my phone, but not to any of my social media. You can do that if you want. You can pretty much use it like a smartwatch, like Apple Watch and stuff. But I um, purposely didn't do that because when I go for walks, I like to not have any social media or phones or anything. The battery works great. Like you, you don't have to charge it for like four or five days and it still works. So, and it's really simple. It tells you how much you've walked. I, I don't know if you're gonna see how much I've walked today. Let me see. It says 11,000. 222 21 steps but so you can see that it will track your calories and it will buzz to tell you to get up sometimes which i think is great because sometimes you just forget like when i'm doing emails and stuff i just can't remember so then this is great if you are in the market for a smart watch and you don't want to get a fitbit or a apple watch definitely check this out i also like that it's thin so it doesn't look too bulky when I wear it. Yeah, I really like it. This has been motivating me to walk even more just to get that little da -da when I hit 10,000 steps. So the next two things, the number three and number four, are things that you actually use together, but I will just do them one by one. The Huda Beauty Foundation, the Flawless Filter Foundation. Now I know I'm late in the game with this. I know this has been out for a while. I know, I know. 
but I love this foundation. I actually just got it this summer because, I don't know, I just wanted to buy a new foundation. I was bored, I didn't really need it, but I wanted a new foundation, and I read so many things, good things about it, and I kept never wanting to buy it, and then I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna do it. I'm gonna go for it, I'm gonna jump. And I am so happy I did. This foundation is amazing, I have it on now. So. And I've worn it in my previous Instagram posts as well. It is amazing. It is so full coverage. Literally, you just need the smallest, smallest amount to cover your entire face. And it, you don't really feel it. It doesn't feel heavy at all. I actually flew in an airplane with this because I came back from the United States and I flew for nine hours because I don't fly without foundation anymore because it gives me acne if I don't and I didn't feel it it didn't feel oily I didn't feel greasy after a nine hour flight it was fine so definitely if you are prone to more greasy skin and you want a full coverage foundation I definitely recommend the Huda Beauty foundation it really is amazing definitely worth a try and of course you need something to apply the foundation with so I actually took the plunge and splurged on a foundation brush which I knew was going to be amazing I just never wanted to spend the money on it it is the it cosmetics foundation brush now I got the newer one this is the airbrush flawless complexion one it's number 132 apparently this is newer I don't 100% sure know but the lady at Ulta told me that uh, so it was 50 bucks which I mean Look, you can get a Morphe um, foundation brush for much cheaper, but I heard the best things about this brush, and I have to say, it has been amazing. The application with this brush is just great. The bristles are so dense, it is just a beautiful brush, and it's really handy because it has the foundation side, but it also has the concealer side, so it's like a two-in-one. If you go on holiday, this is easy. I usually wasn't really a big fan of using brushes for foundation, but ever since I got this one, I don't do it without it anymore because I feel like this just applies so evenly and so beautifully on the skin. It really gives that airbrush effect like it says. I mean, it says airbrush, airbrush flawless, flawless complexion brush, so it better do that. But I definitely, definitely recommend it if you are willing to splurge. If you're not willing to splurge, Morphe has great options as well, which are a lot better priced. But I do have to say the bristles haven't fallen out yet it really has a great coverage so if you're looking for a long-term brush definitely check this out all right and last but not least after you have put on all your beautiful makeup you've taken your vitamins you've done your walk and you're all ready to go of course we need some kind of fragrance now I usually wear a fragrance in combination with a body mist I like to mist up the body and then put the fragrance on top I know not everyone does that but I think it's the best way to go and make sure also everything smells great and you can then personalize your fragrances more so I usually like a more vanilla vanilla e fragrance I always use body sprays by Victoria's Secret and this time they came out with a new one I think it's the same as what I used to have because I used to always use bombshell seduction body spray but they came out with a newer version or new style of it the bottle is different honestly I think it smells the same but I just had to mention it because I think I never had before but definitely definitely if you are in the market for a body mist I would definitely check the bombshell seduction body mist it really smells very luxurious so the notes in this body spray is white peony sage and velvet musk I really love this it really makes your fragrance more long-lasting if you use a fragrance on top and you know it makes your clothes smell good too if you're like me I don't like to wash my clothes over and over I know that sounds gross I hang everything out I wash it after the second or third week because otherwise it's bad for your clothes anyway so something like this really keeps it smelling fresh so that's just my tip all right so those were the five items that I wanted to discuss with you guys today my five favorite items that I have been using the entire month of September I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you got something new to purchase out of this. If you did, please let me know down below. I'd love to know what you're going to buy or what you're not going to buy or what was your favorite item this year or this month. If you enjoy these type of videos as well, please don't forget to subscribe. And until my next video, I hope you have a lovely day, morning, evening, afternoon, midnight. I hope whatever you're having is wonderful and see you next time.